Warning. Warning. This threat of rescue box was rough. It was bad. It was sad. It made me mad. Okay, now I'm just rhyming. Now that I've warned you, let's get on with the show. I have a denim DIY thread up rescue box for you today. It is 50 pounds, it is super heavy, and if you wanna see what's inside, stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park, and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kitizen, and Thread Up. One of my favorite ways actually to source for my reselling business is through ThreadUp's rescue boxes. I don't know why, but I just love them. I think that they're a lot of fun. And also I typically will only purchase them when I have ThreadUp credit. And the way that I get ThreadUp credit is through people like you and anyone else that I know that I you know, tell about ThreadUp, they use my referral code. And then I think I get like 10 or $20 if someone you know, signs up using that code and then purchasing something from ThreadUp. So if you've never tried out ThreadUp before and you've been wanting to try it out, I've got a code for you down in the description below if you want to try that out. And with it, you actually get some credit as well. I can't remember if it's 10 or $20, but you get at least $10 of credit and I get to continue feeding my Thread Up Rescue Box addiction. So that's what this is. Funny story, um, we are getting a new roof put on our house right now because we had this crazy hailstorm and this box was delivered today in the midst of all that chaos and it was literally just thrown onto our front lawn. Like, and I don't blame, I probably FedEx, I think it's probably FedEx who sent this. I don't blame the FedEx delivery person because there was no pathway to our front door and it, it's 50 pounds. So I like went outside, I saw this box and I was like, what is this? Because typically Thread Up Rescue boxes come in like Thread Up branded boxes. And this is literally just a, you know, cardboard box. So I didn't really understand what this was, but um, it is from Thread Up. It is my Thread Up Rescue box. I did try to pick it up and bring it inside. I did get it to our porch and then I was like, Maggie, you need to help me. So um, we are gonna dig into this bad boy together. If you really enjoy Thread Up Rescue Box unboxings, I do have a playlist that I will link down below because I've gotten a handful of these now. Some of them are great. My last denim DIY rescue box was awful. So why did I put myself through it again? I don't know, I just I just wanted to see what happened. I have had one other Thread Up Rescue box that was really good. So let's hope that this falls into that camp, but let's just get right into it. Okay, so you can kind of see what the box looks like. They have all of this stuff. I like to save this stuff for my own packages. So, well, it's not gonna all come out. Okay, so we'll just put some of that there. Um, I already see some things that I'm not super excited about, but we'll just, uh, let's just give it a fair shot. So I paid $60 for this. It was 50 pounds. We'll see how many pieces were in here. And at the end, I'll let you know how much I paid per pair of jeans. Um, it is a DIY denim rescue box. And they say DIY because they're trying to tell you, you know, these items could have flaws. They may not be amazing. And you could do like fun little projects out of them and whatever. So, all right, here we go. This is the first pair. This is a pair of Gap Flare jeans. This is a pretty old Gap tag. Um, and... There doesn't appear to be a size. So let's let's check this out, shall we? It does look like it's high-waisted. I mean, it actually has a really cool vintage look to it. Like, look at the back. Like, that's total mom jean status right there. And I could, you know, just kind of do measurements to see what, um, what the size is. Although it is kind of difficult when something is high-waisted and vintage, I feel like. I mean, they're in good condition. They're definitely, you know, much older style, but I will probably list them. I feel like flare leg is also coming back, but it's more like the really obnoxiously wide flare. You know what I mean? Not like that. Okay, not bad. This is interesting. This is the brand Sky and Sparrow. I have never heard of this brand. It's in a size three, which tells us that it is a junior's item. Um, junior's stuff is sized in odd numbers. And it's got this interesting like lace up at the front. I've never seen that before. Um, and this also kind of appears to be, well, it's probably more of like a mid rise. There is a little bit of puckering at the crotch. I don't know if you can see that, you can. In my last thread up DIY denim box, there were so many jeans that had that puckering in the crotch. I had to do like a puckering count across the bottom. I'm hoping that I don't have to do that for this one, but who knows. But this just appears to be a pair of skinny jeans. 
And honestly, aside from the puckering, they're in really good shape. And actually, I feel like too, upon further inspection, they are high-waisted, which is great. I mean, obviously I have to measure it and see, but again, I don't know the brand. It is a junior's brand, so probably closer to like 18 to $20 as far as how I'll list those. This is a pair of old Paige jeans. Paige, I feel like, especially the newer Paige jeans, are notorious for having a lot of puckering along the crotch. These, however, are like a much older page style. So I think honestly, like the way that the jeans are made are different. And so they don't pucker as much, which is nice, but these are a much older style. These are um, in a size 27. They are the Laurel Canyon, which is actually kind of a popular style, um, but these are like pretty low rise, <laughs> as you can see. And they are just kind of like a boot cut. So I could probably list them for like 25 and hope to get like 15 to 18 up. There's also a lot of wear along the hem. So that just brought the price down. I'll probably list them at like 15 or 18 and see what happens. Um, this is a pair of Chaps Petite jeans and there's a little bit of puckering. I don't know if you can see it. You can kind of see it. There's Chaps. It's a size 14 Petite, like I said, and they are just a pair of like relaxed fit jeans. Um, they're really not exciting. I could probably list them for like 15 to $20. Um, this is Talbots. It's the flawless five pocket jeans in a size 16 petite. They are straight leg jeans. So it's a good size. Um, I don't have a lot of experience selling Talbot's jeans. I have sold a lot of their tops, um, jackets, you know, things like that, even like their shoes. Um, so I don't really know how much their jeans go for. I would assume I could list these for 25. And like I said, especially given the fact that they are a larger size, that makes me really happy. Okay, so I'm not excited to see colored jeans because colored denim is just not really in. This is Zara, it's Zara Basic. It's um, a size six. They're like this pair of mint colored jeans. They are, um, you know, just skinny jeans. You can even tell though, looking at the label, this looks, it looks to be a little bit older. I'll probably just list these for like $15 and see what happens. Okay, no real like wins yet, guys. <laughs> okay, this is an Old Navy pink denim jacket in a size extra small. It appears to have a moto zip, yep. Um, I don't know, 20, $20. Can I list it for $20? Not really getting my hopes up about it, but it's in good condition. It looks like I also have horrible lighting where I'm at right now. So it's kind of hard to tell. This is a pair of Lee modern series, curvy fit boot cut jeans. This is sizeless. I don't know what the size is. It's so old that this tag you can't see any writing on it. Like that's how much it's been washed. So yeah, no size on these, no puckering at least. Um, yeah, just really basic like bootcut jeans. Um, Lee, I don't know. I don't know how much you can get for Lee jeans. I don't know if I've ever tried selling them. 15, 20 with no size. <laughs> okay, let's keep trucking. This is DKNY jeans. I think I've sold DKNY jeans like once or twice. They're not my favorite thing to sell. And these appear to be juniors because it's a size nine. So that, oh, and they're like Bermuda shorts. 15, I'll probably listen for 15. Um, okay. Okay. Let's just get like a bunch out at a time. Um. These are interesting. So these appear to be Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, you can see there, there isn't anything on the inside though that says that it's Polo. Um, and there's no size tag or anything like that. These are so weird, okay. <laughs> Oh my, okay, look at this. Do you see, so there was a hole and you can see the stitching around the hole where someone sewed this 
patch in. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Um, I have to donate these. I cannot sell these. This is, and then like, look at the condition of the bottom. Okay, that's enough of that one. That's going in the donate pile. They also smell kind of funky. This is a pair of Banana Republic Heritage jeans in a size 25 short. Um, they are low rise, they are distressed, they are skinny. I will list them for $25. I, yeah, not super exciting. This is Treasure and Bond. This is a brand sold at like Nordstrom Rack. These are a size nothing no okay 25 Whew, thank god and they are a boyfriend fit it's really hard when um people don't have the sizes it just makes it you know a little bit more work but um they are distressed they're more of like a mid-rise i would say um and they're cuffed at the bottom but you can uncuff them yeah just boyfriend jeans probably list these for 25 as well but i'll probably end up getting like you know, a 15 to $18 offer and I would accept that. Oh boy. Um, okay. These are Levi's. They are the 501 XX. I don't know what that means. Um, they're size 40, 31. So they're men's. They appear to be old. Like, oh my. So they are button fly. Um, they are distressed. I don't think this is like a manufactured distressing though. I think these are just like, these got in a fight with the washing machine or with like the neighbor's dog. Um, yeah. I mean, they make good like work pants. I could still sell them on, especially probably over on like eBay and they are a larger size. I'll probably list them really low though. Um, yeah. Threadup doesn't even take men's stuff. So I'm kind of surprised that those came to me in a, DIY denim rescue box instead of going inside of a men's rescue box. Another pair of DKNY jeans. These are also men's jeans, I believe. These are size 34 by 34, which is better. Like I would rather have DKNY men's jeans than women's jeans any day. Um, and they just appear to be kind of like a straight leg. Yeah. Does it say anything? This whole box also just kind of has like a weird funky smell to it. I'm not really here for it. Um, I don't know what comps look like on these. I wouldn't imagine more than 25. I feel like that's kind of my default price is just, you know, listing things at $25. Okay. Let's see. This is a pair of Blue Spice, I've never heard of that. Size three, so we're dealing with juniors again. These appear to be low, low rise. They appear to be just some skinny jeans. I will try to get at least $10 out of these. I don't even know where a brand like that is sold. Oh, these are, okay. This is Universal Thread, which is Target. Um, it's a skirt. Yeah, it's a uh, light wash skirt. It is in a larger size and it's, a, it's in a size 18 or 34 waist. Um, I don't know. It just looks kind of like dingy. Like it just looks like it needs a good wash. So I don't know. Once I get this looking okay and if there aren't any stains on it, which I don't see, um, I could probably list it for like 15 to $20. So there's that. This, yeah, that needs to go in a different pile. This is a pair of Old Navy Rockstar jeans. It's really hard to tell, but you can just make out star and the R of rock, so there's that. I've heard that the Old Navy Rockstar jeans can do really well. It's in a size two. I don't think they do that well, though, if, well, okay. I was gonna say, I thought maybe some of this distressed detail was not manufactured, but I think it actually was. So they're like a pair of distressed Rockstar jeans from Old Navy. Um, those of you that sell a lot of Old Navy Rockstar jeans, let me know how much you usually get for them. These do have some puckering though. I don't know if you can tell, but right along there, there's some puckering. Here's the back. Off the cuff, I wouldn't expect that I could make that much more than like, 
$20 on those, but let me know. Oh, I still have a pair here. This is a pair of Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Um, they're from 2015. And I don't see, a, I think they're a size zero. Yeah, they're a size zero. There is a little bit of puckering at the crotch. Yeah, you can see it in the lighter washes a little bit better, I feel like. That's what they look like. They appear to be some skinny jeans. So there's that. I don't really know how Tommy Hilfiger jeans do. $18? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what else we got in here. This is a whole lot of garbage so far, guys. Okay. We've got some American Eagle. This is the Jegging Ankle. Let's see what year these are from and what size. But I think that, yep, the tag. The tag with like the size and the material content and all that stuff. It's all been ripped out. That's cool. So I will just take some measurements. Ooh, these are heavily distressed, which honestly, a lot of people like that look for American Eagle. And they appear to have some sort of like, I don't, I don't know. I thought it, yeah, it kind of has like an acid wash look to it, doesn't it? So we'll see. I'll, oh, look at that. I could probably list these for like $30, but again, I have to figure out the size. But the jeggings um, on American Eagle do really well. And then, like I said, some anything that's like pretty distressed does really well. They do appear to be a smaller size. This is Unina, which I feel like um, is the denim brand associated with Lulu's, I want to say. I could be totally wrong. I, you know, have come across this brand a couple of times and I always forget. So <laughs> my apologies. Um, it's a size five. It's the Frankie Low Rise Girlfriend. And um, they, these are also distressed, as you can see. I think I could get like 10 to $12 out of these. So I'll probably list them for like 18 to 20. This is a pair of BKE bootleg jeans. Um, the style is Carter and they're in a size 32 long. So I believe these are men's jeans as well. They are in a super light wash bootleg oh like for real bootleg i actually just sold a pair of american eagle bootleg jeans for like 22 dollars or something um bke jeans actually do move pretty well for me i'll probably list these for like 25 to 30 dollars and just see what happens there is some wear on the bottom on the hem as you can see probably listen for 25 then okay We've got another mini skirt here. This is in a size extra small, no brand. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> I mean, it's cute, it just has no brand. So I'll probably list it for like $12, throw it in my four for $25 sale. This is Z1975. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's Zara. Okay, this is Zara. You can see down there it says Zara, but like even here it just says Z1975. I've never seen that from Zara before. Um, these have like an interesting kind of puckering. I don't know if you can see it. It like puckers this way and this way. Do you see that? It's like really hard to tell. Um, these also don't have a size because that has been ripped out. Fun fact about thread up, if you don't have the size on your garment, if there's no size tag, they will not accept it because they're not about to do that work of like measuring and doing all that kind of stuff. These appear to be um, like maybe mid rise, but probably more of a low rise. I have to get up my measuring tape. Um, and they have a raw hem, but also they have like destroyed knees. <laughs> like. Usually when something is distressed, it's not cut down like this too. <sighs> Probably list them in my four for $25 sale and hope to make like 10 to $12 on that. If even, maybe there's some goodies hiding at the bottom. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, these are awful. This is a pair of Mossimo jeans, which is from a, uh, which is from Target. This is so weird. It says size five, fit six. What? 
But like, look. Yeah. Four for $25 sale. That's what will happen to those. This is a denim jacket from Gap in a size small. It does appear to be a little bit older of a Gap um, tag. This is kind of cool. It's a really light wash jacket. Um, it buttons up. It's like a trucker jacket. This is actually not too bad. Um, I'm gonna do some research because I do think that this is vintage. There's some weird coloring going on here though. Like the color is just weird. I don't know. But when I look at it in person, it doesn't look as bad as it does on my phone. So yeah, we'll see. Um, and it's a size small, but I feel like it's a men's small because um, I feel like it would be way too big to be a women's small. So it's pretty dirty actually, now that I look at it. Yeah, it needs a really good wash and then we'll see if we can even do anything with it. This is cut from the cloth. This is the Connie Ankle Skinny. These are in a size six. Cut from the cloth. This is sold at like Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. It's sold in Stitch Fix boxes. Um, it does have a little bit of puckering. I don't know if you can see it, but trust me, it's there. And uh, they're a little bit darker of a wash. They have a little bit of distressed detail. They have the raw hem. I can probably list these for like $18 because of the puckering. These are rough. This is Buffalo David Bitten. They are the slim straight stretch jeans um, exclusively made for buckle. I don't know, like the Buffalo David Bitten brand. It's like, okay, I, I have a hard time moving it, but it does have this like, looks like white out or paint or something. I don't really want to touch it. It's also got it down, mm, uh, mm. <laughs> but it's just a pair of black jeans. I don't know if I want to mess with those. They might go in the, they went in the donate pile. Okay, we're getting kind of towards the bottom here. Ugh. This is another pair of Massimo jeans. This is another pair of 5R, but they fit six. I don't know what that means. So Target again, they're skinny jeans. They look like this. Dark wash, skinny jeans, four for $25 sale. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, These are like a super weird, oh my gosh. These are like vintage citizens of humanity jeans. Look at this tag. I've never seen that before. This is probably the first pair of citizens of humanity jeans that were ever made ever in life. They are a size 27 and yeah, like this really weird color. Like they're, I guess you'd call these a light wash, but they're almost, I don't know. Yeah. Just a super light wash. Uh, bootleg. It looks like we're dealing with, or just like a slight flare. No, more of a bootleg. There is some dirt on the back from, you know, someone stepping on it, but thankfully like the hems are not that ruined, but they do need a good wash. I don't even know what I can do with those. Um, this is a pair of Forever 21 jeans. They're men's jeans. They have a piece of scotch tape stuck to them. <laughs> so that's cool and, a, and an interesting stain. Those will get donated. Um, this is a pair of very faded Old Navy Slim jeans in a size 30 by 30. So there are some men's pieces in here. These look so old. I don't, I don't know. Oh my goodness. And look at the puckering. Do you see that? You do. Like, yeah. I, given how old they look and the puckering, I'm just going to donate. This is a rough hewn size eight. Again, very like vintage looking rough hewn. I forget where it's sold. It's sold at like a Kohl's or something like that. These are awful. I hate them. I like really hate them. They're gray, I think. Yeah. Um, I'll probably just auction them out on eBay. <laughs> I mean, they're in like decent condition. I'll list them, but ooh. Yikes. Okay. This is Avon Viv. This is another Target brand. Um, Avon Viv, I believe, is Target's plus size brand, and they're in a size 16W. 
They are dark wash. They have a weird discoloration right there. Um, is there puckering? You guys, there's no puckering. That's really great. Um, and I think that that like discoloration might be the only flaw. And if that's the case, I mean, I'll probably list them for like 15, $20. Um, yeah, I've never tried selling Ava and Viv jeans before, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Ooh, another pair of Massimo, which is Target. This is size nine, and these smell really funky. They need a wash, and I, I don't know if anyone would buy these. Ooh, ooh, they smell. I don't know. Um... <laughs> this is the brand Diva Star, and they're called that because, look at that, look at that. Um, th don't worry, the front also has some bling bling, as you can see. Uh, I've never heard of this. These are a pair of cropped pants with an intense, like, you know, just the contrast of the completely whitewash, like, yeah, I don't. I I wonder if ThreadUp just found a bunch of jeans from like, I don't know, like the mid 2000s, like 2004, like they just found a couple boxes and they're like, oh my gosh, like we need to get rid of these. And then they sent them all to me. I think that's probably what happened. This is Old Navy boot cut, um, size 38 by 32. Um, let's see. Why? Sorry, I'm like doing this at such a weird angle. I mean, I think they're in good condition. I could probably sell them and get like at least $10 for them, maybe. So there's that. So yeah, actually a good number of men's pieces, which is interesting because I don't think I've ever gotten men's pieces in my other two denim rescue boxes. Um, okay. We are la we're down to the last few, so hopefully there are some winners down here. This is H&M, the Conscious Denim. This is the Slim Low Waist in a size 32 by 32, so I think this is for men. Um, and it is a darker wash, that's just like a little fez. I think these are okay. Aside from like the low rise, I don't know what that's about. I don't, how do you feel about that, men? Do you like the low rise? I don't know. These are actually like the most modern looking pants though that I have <laughs> pulled out of this box. Like these are the only ones that don't look like they're from the year 2004. Um, probably list those for like 18 to 20. I mean, they are H&M. This is another pair of Lee jeans. This is from like the 90s. Oh boy. Whoa. Look at that. Okay. Which it would be pretty cool. Um, look at the bottom. Like these would be pretty cool, except for this. <laughs> this is in case your butt cheek needs to breathe. This is like the little flap for your farts to come out of. Like I don't understand, yeah. So these vintage beauties, uh, they also don't have a size. So many reasons for me to throw them in the donate pile. This, okay. This is like the first decent brand. This is a pair of Free People jeans. Um, they are size 26. And let's see what's wrong with them, shall we? Let's find out together. Okay, so no puckering, which is great. It's got like a, it's got busted knees, which is fine. They're just black jeans. Um, some distressed detail along the hem here, which is cuffed. Oh, it's just like a raw, a raw hem that they happen to cuff. Okay, I can work with these. These I can work with. These are like the only things that I have pulled out of this box so far that I'm like remotely excited about listing. They do have this little tiny stain down here, but that will come out easily, I believe. It just looks like food or something, like dried food. So these I can work with. Okay, I will take these. I'm excited about these. So that makes one pair of jeans out of this whole godforsaken box. This is Ann Taylor. 
and it's a pair of white jeans. They are the skinny crop in a size double zero. Lots of wins. Uh, yeah. Oh, and they got a little, they got a little tie at the bottom. So sweet. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't see any stains or anything, which is good. Yeah, so I can probably list these for like 25. Oh. This is a pair of Gap Factory or Gap Outlet sexy boot cut fit jeans. You can tell it is outlet because of those three squares. These are size four. Um, no puckering, that's great. <laughs> Just, oh, is that like a huge stain I see? Oh, it is. Someone either was like playing outside and fell on their knees in some dirt or spilled some coffee right there, I don't know. Um, I don't feel like getting that stain out, especially given the fact that these are a pair of Gap outlets. So those will go in the donate pile. And this is the last stack of jeans. Let's see if there are some winners. This is American Eagle. And it is a pair of their skinny jeans from the year 2014. It is a pair of light wash jeans. Um, the size, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, is a size six. And they are light wash, they are low rise, they are distressed. Yeah. So we'll see what we can do with those. I'll probably list them for like $20 still. Maybe even 25, we'll see. This is Massimo again. I have so much Target. So much of this person's pair of jeans because this friggin' five fits six. <laughs> this is like my third or fourth pair of these. So you can tell these all came from the same person. And I would have rather not gotten this person's jeans, <laughs> but I got all them. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just planning on, like, even if I just get, you know, five bucks out of them, like... I just want to at least make my money back on this box. This is Chico's Platinum. It's a size 2.5. They're brown? I think these are brown jeans? Um, that's a bold color choice for denim. I've never experienced that before. So, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Um, okay. Chico's jeans, um, they sell they don't sell quickly and these are much older so these will be an even harder sell um so not excited about that this is abercrombie and fitch this is a size four short they are the aaron jeans they are low rise they are skinny they look old so we'll see what we do with these probably less them at like 18 to 20 dollars this is the last pair of jeans. They are Gap, they are boot cut, they are old Gap. They're size 10 XL. What does it even mean 10 XL? Like extra large, extra large length? What does that mean? I don't, okay. So boot cut, clearly this is not a manufactured situation here, but um, it's from a lot of wear. So. There's that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, this was a total bust of a box. And, you know, going into it, also there was some wear on the bottom. It's like, it's always a gamble. My first DIY denim rescue box was actually pretty good. Like, I got a pair of frame jeans um, that sold for like $75. That paid for the box and then some. Um, and there were just like some other really great things in there. There's like a Levi's denim jacket. So there was some really good stuff in there. My last box was pretty bad. I think this is the worst box. This is the worst box I've ever gotten. So at this point I am no longer like for real going to be purchasing the DIY denim rescue boxes from Third Out. They're just not worth it. I will make my money back for sure, you know, but it's a lot, it's going to be a lot of like $5 sales here, $10 sales here. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count up how many jeans there were. I'll let you know how much I ended up paying per jean. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. So there were 47 pairs of jeans or 47 denim pieces in this box. That comes out to like under $2 per pair. So 
I will make my money back. Um, I'm not excited about listing any of this stuff except for maybe those free people jeans. Um, it was a bust. So would I recommend this box? No, I would not. I would, like, don't do it. Don't get this box. <laughs> I'm sure there are some good ones out there, but um, two out of three for me have been pretty stinky. So just kind of keep that in mind. But you do what you want. It's your business. And, you know, maybe you'll get a gem if you do try this box out. But that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed what you saw, maybe not the stuff that you saw, but just, you know, the things that I'm doing on my channel here, definitely consider subscribing. Hit that like button on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.